So, um, that is good. My first experience that I remember with spirit spouses was when God had filled me with the Holy Spirit back in like 99. Mm -hmm. I was 28 at the time. And so um, being filled with the Holy Spirit right off the street, you know, I would talk to my church members about like, what is going on with me? Because I would have these experiences at night to where something was sleeping with me, mm -hmm. actually having sex with me. Okay. And so, like I, like I said, I would talk to different ones in church and ministry. They didn't understand what was going on. So there was basically no help. So I would pray about it, and I would be like, God, help me. Like, what is going on? What, what am I doing to make this happen to me? And so the Lord spoke to me, and he said, Incubus. And so what I had done that night was I had left a light on because I wanted to see what was going on. And so I left a light on, and um, sure enough, at a certain time, that thing came and it was standing in my doorway and it was dressed like a fireman because at the time that's what I was attracted to being in uniforms. And so I rebuked it and whatnot. And so that went on for years, for years. Mm. So I would just try to pray. And I'm like, God, please make this stop. No matter what I would do, I still would get um, attacked at night. And so I remember the Lord was letting me know you're already married to this thing. Cause I would be praying like, God, I want a spouse. I want to get married. And God has kept me. And so he would basically let me know you're already married to this thing in the spirit. You're going to have to divorce it, renounce it, and do all that. So I did all of that. Mm -hmm. And I did, could never understand, like, why I would always have pain in my stomach. Mm -hmm. And so it's like um, the Lord revealed to me that these things were stealing my eggs. Mm -hmm. They were taking my eggs. And so I had, like, so many female issues, fibroids. Like, it was ridiculous. Just a whole lot of female problems. And so not trying to get too deep or nothing like that but I also had those eggs they made spiritual babies in the spiritual realm mm -hmm. and so because that I was already a mother I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would feel something nursing mm. and in the spirit I could see it was a baby mm. so I had so many demonic babies from the marine kingdom yeah. and so this went on for a very long long time and so for about two years almost three years my cycle just stopped just like that and so then when you prayed for me, like last, when was it last week? Mm -hmm. You Just out of the blue, you said the Lord has sh shut your womb up. I never spoke to you or mentioned anything like this to you about any female problems or nothing. Mm -hmm. But you told me, you said the Lord shut your womb up. And so I was like, oh my God, I know exactly what she mean when she said that. Because the, the, those spirit spouses were taking my eggs mm -hmm. and making more babies in the marine kingdom and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so just out of the blue this morning, my cycle started. Hey! hey. 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 I know that was nobody but God no, because I never God. mentioned anything female wise to her never mentioned to her like I have problems with this or that whatnot but for her to say that the God God shut your womb up I know what she meant because I know they had been taking my eggs for years been taking my eggs for years God, I just thank God for that. Yes. I, know, I know He's not done for me with me, yes. so I'm just I'm excited. So yes. I thank God. Praise Praise God. Hallelujah. And 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 I I needed when you said I needed that that was like confirmation because of the break free marriage. But God has been saying that I want to give you revelation on why marriage. It's so, it's these spirit spouses and all that. Yeah, the spirit's got to go. But I need them to understand my heart for marriage more than just the man. And, but wow, this is so critical to his plan. And the ability to have children. That is, it's so much more than just having children and being a mother. But in his plan, in the plan of God what you're carrying and what they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. My God. So he's like, oh, this is serious. Yeah. This is serious. Yeah. Marriage. Marriage is so critical to the plans and the agenda of God. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. My goodness. And, and you know, your girl, you know, I mean, she was <laughs> but I had never done, you know, a, a good deed. I did, you know. And so I said, Lord, forgive me for being the way that I viewed marriage. Yeah. And so I'm learning so much in this. So when you sent me that. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm excited. Because yes. do you remember? I do remember in a moment I said, you have a husband. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.